Hello, Mary Gun of Mary Gun Fun. And Orange Trepidosis of Craft Roulette and In Review. I guess I need to get... Maybe the old red one needs to be for In Review. I don't know. I was thinking the old red spoon may be good for family gatherings. <laughs> but they hate me already, so... No, they don't. But they're all... Anyway, that I digress. If you don't know what In Review is, I haven't told you, so you shouldn't probably know. But it is the second part of Craft Roulette where we feature... The people that have sent in cards already this week and we have three parts of the show we have snail mail oh my gosh i've got some good ones to share with you tonight and we do a card review random about 10 of them and we have a game called Who Done It, where i will recreate a card based on a card not verbatim but based on a card that was sent in to our gallery already this week which we have over 175 cards. You guys like the parameters. Plus, we have a lot of new friends. Speaking of which, Gina K. Will, I talked to her today on our tech call. Lovely woman. Great to meet Tom. We're going to have a great time on Thursday. If, I, if you don't get to stay around to the very end, our show for this week, 100, episode 152, Craft Roulette, is on Thursday, normal time, instead of Friday, because of our special guest, Gina Kay. So, uh, join us then, and join us often. Do want to thank, let's see, oh, share, share, too. If you have anybody that you know would like this, if you have a Facebook group, or um, uh, whatever you have, if you would share this channel with them, we'd appreciate it, and then hit that thumbs up. If you do hit the thumbs down, that's fine. You won't see us very... Maybe. I don't know. Sometimes I think YouTube goes, Oh, you hit the thumbs down. Well, I'm going to make sure you don't like them. But I, we don't get too many of those. But, um, you know, it's better than letting seeing the same thing that you don't like over and over. Um, is there anything else? We do want to thank our spin sponsors. We've had a great month of spins, giving away other people's stuff with our spin sponsors. The way you get the gift certificates from our spin sponsors is to send in cards those cards are sent in digitally after each of the episodes you have 48 hours and if you're a patron you have longer so we'll talk about more about that on the show thursday but we've had some great great spin sponsors angie blum's digital designs Oh, uh, I don't want to say it wrong. Penguin Palace and Gina K. You have all given away great prizes, gift certificates all month long. If you sent in last week or if you're a patron and you have till midnight on Wednesday this week, you will still be eligible for the last set of gift giveaways from those um, spin sponsors, which are $25 gift certificates from Angie Blum and Penguin Palace and a $100 gift certificate from Gina K. So if you aren't a patron, you may want to be one, but if you are a patron, be sure to get that, that card sent in. The um, We're going to talk about the parameters and have a little parameter appreciation here in a few minutes, but um, they were they were easy to work with. As you will see, <laughs> much better, much easier to work with in collage, robot, or purse card, which we've had the last few weeks at before that. Oh my goodness. Let's get started. You guys are all settled in? Got your snacks? Got your stretch pants? Nice to see everybody from Canada to Sweden to the good old United States. Amy, right down the street in Peculiar, Missouri. I've got... Our exceptionally bad dad jokes, courtesy of Amanda Stevens. And here, I don't think I've told this one yet. I think I skipped this one. How does a pet, maybe I did. No, oh, I'm going to, I'll come back to it. I did that one last week. When the phone is ringing, dad says, if it's for me, don't answer it. That's an old phone joke. You have to understand old phones. <laughs> that's that's an old food old food phone joke i'll stick with another one i'm on a seafood diet i see food and i eat it i always like that one that was a pretty good one anyway okay let's go down to paper cam and start with some mail because we've got some great great mail the first one i want to start with is this one i got this fabulous box from heather and her husband stephen huang um, it's filmed, <laughs> like, I thought, what in the heck did they send me? 
They sent me all sorts of goodies from Taiwan and I believe some from Japan. I've just barely looked at them. But it, it's a Happy Lunar New Year gift to me because Heather's husband is from Taiwan and I have a quote-unquote tea sister from who lives in Taiwan. And uh, all sorts of really fun things. I, I'm going to have so much fun looking into these deals. There's some jasmine tea. There's um, these. I think they said these little marshmallows go into uh, cocoa or hot cocoa. And uh, they explode and they've got um, chocolate inside. That sounds good. And there's my jasmine tea. We all love the, jaz the tea around here. Jasmine tea is really good. Um, these, this is baked seaweed, some kind of chips. We're going to like those from Korea. Uh, we had a lot of Koreans go through our house too when we used to have lots of fun um, international students. And here's my tea. So excited to get into this. Here is a beautiful long-handled, look at how cool that is, a long-handled silver spoon. And it's so, <laughs> they were saying that not everybody is born with a silver spoon in your mouth, but now you can have a long handled silver spoon. This is, uh, this is so fun. My tea sister hasn't sent me a package in a long time. Well, she used to send them and um, it's very, very expensive to send from Taiwan. But, uh, and I would share them with a little boy that had been adopted from China and he loved it. We'd have little, we'd have little um, parties in my phonics room, and then Heather sent me her her robot from robot that darn robot thing. Oh, we need to get in a little bit better. There we go. And then Stephen wrote me a really, really very thoughtful card, and look at this. It, he has it printed, and that's Chinese. Um, Heather and I just want to wish you all happy. Year of the Rabbit, Happy Valentine's Day, Happy Easter, Happy All of the Above. <laughs> and he did a little folded, a little origami with one of the wrappers. And it's a rabbit. That is the cutest darn thing. And then it opens up and he wrote me a nice little note. And then he wrote me another nice little note. And I really appreciated reading that from you, Stephen. He also says a graphic background. Maybe he said maybe this could be considered his first card. <laughs> but he's going to have to mind the rules and, and send it in the right way. And it has to meet the parameters. And look at this cute little bunny. <laughs> I was so, so inspired by this book. Um, this is a pen he also sent me that he said is one of his favorite graphic pens. Oh my, I can see why. Oh, that's got nice, nice feel. Made in Japan, the Muji. That That's excellent. That one's not going near anybody in this house except me. I'm keeping it. Thank you so much, Heather. And Stephen, I can't wait for you to come to Kansas City. <laughs> we did talk about that. Yes, it is origami. Here's a nice card from 5K. I did just have a birthday on Saturday, so I'm getting a, some nice birthday cards. And it says, happy birthday. May your day be filled with sunshine. My day was so tired <laughs> on Saturday. I will go ahead and spill the beans. I was exhausted on Saturday. Thank you so much. I love all these little strips. Aren't we glad we have those little strips? And you have all the little, you have them great I like how you have them all arranged. They look great. Plus, I don't ever think of this. And you added some pretty chipboard. Good job, 5K, who also just ran a 6K. We're not sure what to call her now. But thank you, thank you so much for thinking of me. Uh, I was exhausted on Saturday. I'd been on the go, on the go, trying to catch up with all the stuff that I've been behind on. Impossible, right? Here's a, there's the cut, there's the preliminary here we've got a little look at this we've got a little party right here on the envelope and it says someone in new mexico is thinking of you that's a pretty cool stamp it would make no sense if i sent it <laughs> anyway so good to see all you guys here this is from if you know anything about our group you will know who this is from <laughs> I will look at this while you ponder such things. We got a little Howdy Kerwin, some little post-its, super fun. Got a nice note and a kitty 
Kitty Paperclip. Will the paperclip come around this week? I'm ready. I'm absolutely ready. I'm going to stick this over here in my special paper clips. Hidden from view from Mr. Producer. This, right, Susan, the Epic Smurf got it. It is from Norma. Norma Garrett sent this cool card. <laughs> I love how she used the twine, several strands of it. It just seems so generous. I'm such a tightwad. I'd never think of extra strands. But uh, such a cute idea. And then she's got, actually, she's got little snips right here in the edge of the card so that the twine can sit in there and not get loose, which is very smart. Fancy schmancy. And then she reinforced this middle one so it has a little more pizzazz. Very, very sweet, thoughtful card. I love it very much. And your note was very special. And of course, who who doesn't like a black cat thing? Anything. Oh, that old Kerwin. He's he is just his own cat, you know? You can't you really can't make him do a thing. <laughs> I know, those are cool, aren't they? And then here's one. I believe this was from Epic, the Epic Smurf Murphy. Let's see. Party starts right here on the envelope. I am so inspired by this, but do I get that done? Not yet. I will. Keep after me, Smurf. Yes, this is indeed a Smurf Murphy card. Let's start appreciating it. Okay. couple things going on here. She has four papers. They are great together. Aren't they great? There's, I, It's got raining. It's pouring. She's got pretty... I love this kind of stuff. You know, they look like old hankies and old baby books and um, old maps and just pretty, pretty vintage colors. And then she put this, some paper, I, I wish I had some of those from the old days, some paper flowers, pretty little embellishments in the center. I love how you use the dark and the light green leaves. Pretty little bird. It just feels like spring, doesn't it? I love it. She's calling it the cut and shuffle technique. <laughs> and it was Mary Poppins theme paper. You know, I think I put Mary Poppins on the parameters. You might want to keep this out. <laughs> because I think I did. I did. I did update the um, parameters this week a little bit. And some of them, um, I was getting prompts from Gina K. Friends. So, And she always sends some, uh, some paper hugs, which is always, always appreciated. I liked how you did this. Today, I will be happier than a bird with a french fry. <laughs> now, that doesn't sound quite like Mary Poppins, but I like it very much. It's very, very pretty. And I think, you know, this kind of goes with our our theme that we've had on our patron blog. I may have to examine this idea. Very nice. Thank you so much, Epic Smurf. Here we got one from England. We got it from <laughs> Mary Ann Hill, who makes the sweaters for Mr. Mike. We've got the... <laughs> <laughs> the Fighter Mac Robotic Trooper. And, oh, so cute. She's la layered this stuff. So she's really thought about it and figured it out. Had some mats and then covered or did some follow-up with some um, layering with the same color. Very smart. These are cool. This is a cool paper. You guys are going to miss the robots. <laughs> Let's just face it. <laughs> but she, um, I think, like... Uh, Christina Brome can make square cards in England without having to have a lot of extra postage. I love how she does this. She just has like copy paper inside and has it attached to the very front. It's, it's so classy. Um, and then she has a little bit of paper here. Sweet little happy birthday die cut and some more little nuts. Um, very sweet woman, very sweet woman. And I love this card. She'll be watching this probably in the morning because she's usually all tidied up for the night by the time we come on. But that, I love that paper. We love a good robot. Speaking of good robots, we got a card from our leading lady, Patty Beck. And this is her 150th, uh, this was from episode 150. It, I don't know how many cards she has sent in now, but a, a bunch. And this was her robot card. 
<laughs> it is playful. There he is with his map fold. How, how did you do that? Your fancy, your map fold there. How did you find that to go with a robot chipboard? I think that's just exquisitely wonderful. And you've got your little buddies there. I think you were prepared for the eventuality of having a robot attack us all. And then she also sent these really pretty stars. Aren't those lovely? I work for gold stars real hard. I work real hard to get a gold star. There she says, why do robots make terrible teachers? <laughs> it's a good dad joke because they drone on and on <laughs> and it's a nice happy birthday from you Miss Patty thank you so much I like it I like everything about it especially since it was from you now this one I think is really sweet and special because it is from Cordelia Alderman and she said she was refraining because of the the not the gravity of my birthday but um be just to use it in honor of the fact that um what was that there uh we can always we're so happy and blessed to have you here for another year oh that w i made it <laughs> and i made it to this birthday and to honor that she didn't use a snarky comment she made a very pretty happy birthday and what a pretty card it is Thank you, Cordelia. You're very sweet. I won't tell anybody, but you're very sweet. <laughs> and this is all popped up. This feels almost like leather. It feels like it could be leather. and It's got embossed happy birthday on it. And it's popped up and it's very special. And this, uh, I love this look and stenciling. It just is beautiful. And good news, there's nothing inside. So you never know. It may come your way, Cordelia. You're a treat. Thank you. Then, pardon me, I got a pretty orange card. Imagine that, an orange card from Anne Schmidt. And it's got this cool paper. I think the paper was probably prepared and she bought it that way, but that's a pretty darn good thing to buy, I think. No foiling, just... Faux fo foiling seems like a good idea to me. And she wishes that I have a happy birthday and sends me hugs. This is really pretty. I like it. You've got a little pretty gem there. You've got a popped up little flower. I love, you probably can't see that too well, but you can tell that there's something going on with that flower that's not just a solid, solidly stamped flower, but it actually has a little um, grain to it a little hatch marks to it hash marks to it not hatch marks hash marks to it and it's really pretty very very delicate and i like how you have your little green leaves there and that whew, that faux foiling it, it's good isn't that pretty i know lisa hunter everybody makes such beautiful wonderful cards oh my gosh we got some talent around us and then from the plains of, I don't know, I, don't, I think she's in the plains of Canada. Allie Cope sent me this beautiful card. Is she, how, how do you keep your, your pens inside the line? I will never know. Oh my gosh. Good to see you, Sarah Liz. Thank you for a great week of inspiration. You really set us off. Um. How she does that, I don't know. Birthdays aren't about counting candles, but about counting every happiness in your life. Happy birthday, dear friend. It's so nice. She, Her coloring skills are beyond me. I, I can't even fathom. But so pretty. I can just sit here and enjoy it, can't I? I don't have to. You know, here's the thing. I don't have to be able to do what she does to enjoy what she does. And I... I don't need to hit my head against the wall all the time going, I, oh, my cards would be prettier if I did this, or if I colored that, or if I had this paper, or if I had the faux foil, or um, that stencil, or this or that. I can just enjoy what I get and see. And so thank you, Allie Cope, that I don't have to do this. <laughs> and I can enjoy it. So much enjoyment. I love it. And last but not least, I have a beautiful joyful card from Teresa Parmenter. 
Remember the joy fold? You've got the little card on top of the other card. This is okay. So here's this is feels like this has some kind of um, coating on it. It feels super smooth and and slick. And she's got a great little em embossing on there, but it's not embossed on the back. Oh, it's it's on top of it. So okay, so you've done some kind of voodoo there, but you've got your You've got you probably break every rule you can, lie about your age, live loudly, and have an unforgettable birthday. <laughs> I do like that very much. Knock knock. <laughs> Which reminds me of a an old card that my brother gave me when I was very young. But it went knock knock. Who's there? Lilac. Lilac who? Lilac crazy when they ask your age. So that goes right in with this. But this is really pretty. She's sparked, uh, added some sparklies in the flower centers. The flower is paper and it's so pretty. And then she added some doolally flowers to really jazz it up and some pretty happy birthday with some nice, nice blending. Such a nice card, Miss Teresa, and a sweet, sweet note. Thank you for encouraging me to live loudly. <laughs> I need it sometimes. I do. That's good. All right. Well, I got another great day at the post office, didn't I? I get the best mail. However, I will say, and I'm not going to tell you exactly how much it was. I mailed two international mugs today. Uh, but I can say the uh, post office should never be going broke at this point. But it was cheaper than me going to Australia or Sweden. But it, it was... We're going to have to rethink this. <laughs> so we may have some mug club adaptations coming because it was over the top. So yay for that. Let's get and look at some slides on that note. Let's start the slideshow. Episode 151 recap. 170 some cards at this point who do we get first we get Jen Zay you know I had a great aunt her middle name or actually it was all one word her name was Edna Zay and they had a little poem about her Jen Zay and I probably told you this before but I'm old and addle pated now and it was I am a little chatterbox my name is Edna Zay the reason that I talk so much I have so much to say so there you go there's your poem you've got lilac knock knock jokes i am arming you with all sorts of good stuff oh my goodness um that's true roberta maybe so but we'll have to figure out something jen zay is in new york congratulations on being a zero hero with your 50th card cards for friends that wasn't hard you could just make up anything for that couldn't you um blue jeans plus two so we used all sorts of colors of blue and I loved how many different colors that you chose to use with blue. Here you went with yellow and pink. Starts with F. Probably was for a friend or flame. Flame and frosting. <laughs> I did try really hard to guess while well, I've been going through the gallery. And I haven't made it all the way through. But I have been trying to guess um, what the F what the F is going on on your cards before I read and, and get the clarification. But I think frosting and flames were this one. And then you stack your letters and you have stacked on confetti die. And did, did I saw somebody, oh, embossing powder or snow cap pen. Yeah, I think that does have dimension. I can't quite see it as well as you may be, but... I think that does the frosting does have dimension, which makes it extra fun, right? Little things that make the cards just so much extra fun. But a zero hero, congratulations to you, Gen Z. If you don't, if you're new here, a zero hero is just, we we celebrate lots of accomplishments, and uh, one of them is if you have sent in cards that end in multiple that are like multiples of 10, 10, 20, up to one hundred and forty. I think is where we are right now. And so we just call you zero heroes. Doesn't mean you're a zero. It means that you're a hero that has a zero. Boing. <laughs> oh, you just, oh, I, oh, well, Roberta, I saw yours. Yours would be hard to redo. 
Uh, Kay Wearer from Wisconsin is at 98. That is great. I remember, and I did read this one. Your stacks were the logs. Starts with F was the flame. Blue jeans, you had the blues, and then you have yellow and green. And a card is in your sentiment. You covered all the bases. I like your little, your pretty little clouds. And the fact that the clouds are up and it's daylight and there's the moon, why not? It's actually a great little design thing because you've got your yellow going diagonally up there to the moon. I like it. Um, you ripped, you ripped your paper for your hills, and that looks good too. You'd use solid core paper, it looks like, and so there's no white on it. If you did do white core paper, you have the white tooth at the back of, of the back of the card, but uh, and then it looks like you inked it a little bit to give a little bit of dimension. Did a little sky with some ink. Good job, Kay. 98 cards. That's so many cards. I'm astounded by you guys. I love seeing the new people come in. We've got a lot of new people. If, By the way, we have some very, very good veterans in our Facebook group. And you guys have been jumping right in and helping people figure out what to do. <laughs> and so thank you because we do have a lot of new people. I know uh, Gina Kay is going to go on tonight and after our oral well, at 7. Um, and she's going to announce again that she's going to be on. And then Thursday, she will be announcing a new release at noon. And she will be inviting people again to Craft Roulette. So we could have quite a few new people in the Facebook group, which is Craft Roulette Show. You have to answer those questions to be automatically approved. Um, but thank you so much, you guys, for our veteran, our veteran crafters and craftettes for helping out on, because it's, um, there's a lot of activity. So thank you. Good job, Kay. This is, speaking of which, here's a brand new contributor, Laura Mosby from New York. Her first submission, I thought this was very simple and striking. Um, just pretty. Card for a friend, thinking of you. Blue jeans she had. Hmm, like a light blue. I'm going to go ahead and yawn. You know how I am. I always yawn in these shows. Um, blue. I'm so relaxed here. <laughs> so she did blue, like a light blue, a dark bluish purple, and then she ended up with black at the top. It's such a strikingly good looking card. Then she had F for flowers and she stacked her die cuts, um, I believe is what she stacked, and then just layered up her card. I mean, if you have a layered card, it's stacked, right? And so many fun things that you stacked. You've stacked frogs. <laughs> What else did you stack? Books, frogs, all teacups, um, all sorts of things are, are stacked. It's a fun gallery this time. But Laura, thank you so much for joining us. It's so nice to meet you. Yeah. It's all good. Mary Ellen Finley has sent in 58. There's a frog. <laughs> He's a cute guy. He is a cute guy. Pardon me. Her stacks, I did read this. It was her blue... Um, ombre stacked strips and life's a lot brighter and happier because of friends like you who wouldn't make whose day wouldn't be better after they got that message with those big eyes my grandma frog what big eyes you have um so obviously a card for a friend blue jean is very obvious blue uh, then you have yellow and green Starts with an F. You've got frog, unless it's a toad and you're trying to sneak one past Deputy Heidi. And then the stacks were the blue. I think it's a great card. Super fun, super upbeat. I, um, I like your big Im your big image. Just really is a grabs you right, and makes you happy when you look at it. Well done, Miss Mary Ellen. Sherry Pemberton from down the street. Hey, Miss Sherry, if you're watching this, I'm coming to Harrisonville. I think tomorrow. I think going out with my girls and I think that's what we're going to do so if you see somebody <laughs> wearing some craft roulette shirt clothes it's me um 96 you're getting right up there a card for a friend rainy days are better with you there you go nice little sentiment blue jean sky plus red fox red fox umbrella pink and a yellow coat our neutrals are always free, and it starts with F. You got that fox in there. 
Oh, there were people that had foxes with fences of flowers. <laughs> it was fine. It was just fine. I love it. And then you've got stacks of clouds, I think. I think that's stacks of clouds. Your rain is really good. I like that rain a lot. Let's not talk. We don't tell Mary about numbers of people watching. Mary doesn't ever get to know these things. <laughs> because she gets stupid. And then she starts talking real fast and getting and say, mixing her metaphors even more than usual. So we just don't talk about the numbers <laughs> with Mary. Card, card math I can do. Viewing math, it's, it's just better later. So anyway, this is super cute. I hope to see you, Sherry. Maybe, maybe. Never know. It's a small town. I like the raindrops a lot. Which we're maybe going to get tomorrow. Debbie Sanders has sent in three cards. I thought this was really pretty. That background of the abstract splashes of color. And then you chose the black and white. Very, very striking uh, focal point. Nice back and forth going on there. It's really cool with the color and the black and white. Hello, my friend, obviously. Blue jeans, you can see it, plus the kind of salmon and pink and the teal. That all kind of works together, right? Starts with an F. You have it for your friend and it's flowers and um, stacks. You've got all sorts of stacks of flowers and butterflies and leaves and everything else on that pretty, pretty picture there. So let's, I know, isn't that a cool background for the die cut? I think so too. <laughs> yeah, Roberta. You know, the thing is, Roberta, on Thursday, I probably won't be able to see too much going on. <laughs> so I won't know unless I see a number and then I just have to refocus. But yep, yep. Oh, oh, Roberta. The favorite card being the blue jean wearing flamingo from Cheryl Jackson. I have never seen a flute. <laughs> that was for some low riding jeans. If you haven't seen that card, please go to Craft Roulette.live, episode 151, and look up the Fleming and look for Cheryl Jackson's card. She sent it in pretty early. So it's at the, toward the top of the list. But she's got this flamingo and he's <laughs> wearing blue jeans. I think I think um she's embracing her creativity. <laughs> Let's just say that. I think it's just fabulous. They're like low-riding jeans, too. <laughs> One more, and then we're going to do our... Oh, yes, Ashley Young. It was so fun to have her in the group the other night with little Harrison. Um, I think he was with Daddy. There's Cheryl right there. She lives to amuse. Well, you sure did it. <laughs> um, Ashley is one of our guest crafters. We haven't had her on, though, because she had a baby, and now she's also busy. But she um, obviously has a card for a very good friend who's having an anniversary. Your blue jeans. She See how she didn't use the blue as the predominant color? She used like the green and the yellow, more green especially, um, and then a little, little bit of yellow. But she just got a little bit of blue on Mrs. Beaver's um, little bow, bow in her hair. And... Uh, so that's something to remember when you're doing parameters, that you don't have to have everything be the big, big noise. You can slip in little things, and, I, and it's always fun to see how you do it. Um, starts with F. Are those fir trees? I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe they're fir trees in the background. I bet that's it. And stacks of wood. <laughs> I think it's so cute. It really is cute. You've been on a real beaver thing when, with your cards. You did mice for years. It seemed like years. And then you and Vicky Ruta are do just remarkable things with mice. And now um, you're doing beavers. I don't know that Vicky has started going to the beaver, the beaver tribe yet. But um, so cute. Look how dimensional and round and fat they look. <laughs> Fur tree. I think that's it, Marjorie. I do. But forest. Oh, could be that too, Heidi. Yeah. Yeah. It's all fun to, it's all fun. It's, it could be fun because it really is. I like that dome shape and those stitches. That's really good. I said that was going to be it, didn't I? Let's do one more. Mm, we already did that one. That's a sign. Tamra. Oh, no, I like this one a lot. Tamra a, well, I like all of them a lot. But Tamra A sent in a uh, stack of gnomes. Of course, who doesn't stack their gnomes these days? And a card for a friend. Um, she added with, I think, with friends by your side. Maybe, maybe that's part of the stamp. Uh, blue jeans. You, I love the colors in this. They're um, 
they're muted and they're pretty and they really felt blue genie. Uh, blue jeans plus two, you had green and yellow and you used your neutrals really, really well. I like the texture of that card background too. I, I don't know how people do that. I think it's paper, but I don't know. It's, uh, I like how you did it though. I love that look, that it that grayish look, grayish look and um, all that. Just the subtle texture in the background. And then you've got the edges. You took a lot of care on all this with the edges being inked and um, coloring in all your little pretties. I'm not sure what you used to color, but it sure looks good. And um, starts with F was flowers, friends, all sorts of good things. There's a, There were a lot of double dipping with Fs, which is very good. Rustic. It is a rustic feeling, doesn't it? Well, hi, Lee. Bye, Lee. We'll see you on Thursday. And so, and so ends our slideshow of your cards. You guys blow me away. But now, now, I, I will give you a hint on the whodunit section. This is not a flamingo that's wearing blue jeans. No, it's not. Oh, mushrooms are fungus. Uh, fungi. You know why mushrooms are so amusing? Because they're fun guys. Fun guy. Oh, she's talking about it right now. Yay. Yay, Lou Ann Johnson. Thank you for letting us know. She put a note on her she put a note on her um monitor so she wouldn't forget. I told her I have notes too. One says no sniffing and no cackling. My notes are not as how about this one? Okay, it's time for Who Done It. The game where you get to guess what card I am recreating. Okay, the object of the game is be the first to correctly guess and name in the comments the contributor whose card I was inspired by. The, episode, the inspiration card has been chosen randomly from the current gallery of episode, Craft Roulette episode 151, which was last Friday. The project will not be verbatim or literally recreated, but I will be pulling ideas from it and making a card using those ideas. Uh, so far, I have not stumped anybody. To play the game, you need to be here and in live chat. And you also need another browser open so that you can review the current Craft Roulette gallery. Um, to declare who you think the inspiration card is from, made by, you type, are you ready, Pettyback? You type at Craft Roulette. That will flag me, and I will see in on, on my monitor in orange, so I know that that's your official guess. Um, please use the spelling that they use. I know some of them are tricky. <laughs> We've, I'm going to have to learn Farsi now because we have a new contributor whose name is in Farsi. It sounds really pretty, and it means morning glory, which is really pretty. But there it is. Rosie beat you. That's okay. I don't know. Maybe Patty had to go take care of her dog's um, but thank you, Rosie, at Craft Roulette. And then I'll know it's official. If you don't do that, I won't know it's official. I probably won't even see it. So um, just go ahead and type that person's name the way it's spelled. If it's a common name, you can add their location too. It'd be great. The winner, this is the big news. <laughs> the winner gets the original giveaway, which is a handmade card with an itty bitty gift. Um, is that good? I think that's good. I think that's all the rules I have for you. That's enough rules. All right, let's see. Is she here? I don't know. I haven't seen her. Sometimes she's busy on Tuesdays. There's Mr. Mike. How you doing? Fine, fine. All righty, let's see what... I've got several card samples too, but I can't show them to you yet. I'm going to start with this. This is a free... Um, Digital print by Angie Blum. And I am going to use that little guy. And I'm not going to stay in the lines like Aunt, like Allie. I'm just going to be sloppy because I don't have I don't have time to not be sloppy. Because <laughs> sometimes I will spend a long time coloring. This is watercolor pencil, by the way. I have a lot of them so I've never spent too much on other kinds of pencils I have a few others but not a whole lot so I'm gonna just start with this guy 
you know we have it is the year of the rabbit in <laughs> the lunar year of the rabbit and it is also getting closer to spring so i thought well this would be a fun one to do i've done some fun things with this little bunny not bad for a free gift and all you have to do is download it from her from her site and you can make them big i've made them made them great big and um i've also made him kind of little i think i'm going so here's a i'm going to pull in a third color we have blue plus two so i'll go ahead and tell you i'm going to add a third color no maybe i'll just do blue dark blue we'll just do dark blue i won't cheat i saw deputy heidi Deputy Heidi is our law enforcement, one of our law enforcement branches. Of, I've got a bumpy, bumpy um, surface here, so I'm getting all sorts of weird things going on. And Schmidt, I showed your card. Thank you so much. But it, um, Deputy Heidi is our law enforcement officer. We also have the chief of police, but he really doesn't do much. Not, not much policing. He does a lot, but he doesn't do much policing. So Deputy Heidi has a lot on her shoulders. Plus, this is just, um, it is not Vicki Tillett, but good guess. I know this one's going to, I don't, there's a couple things that are coming that will absolutely give it away. But I have learned to be cautious about how soon I give you the, the good stuff. Because you guys are pretty, pretty clever. Anna Rabidou, no. Jennifer De La Hoya, not this time. All of those are great guesses, and they deserve their cards to be featured. But theirs is not the inspiration this time. He always, always looks cute with little sweet pink cheeks. And a little orange carrot. And there's where we get the... No, I still... Yeah, I did bring in a third color. Officer Heidi, look the other way. This is just on copy paper, and so I'm not doing a super great job, I will admit it. And I'm not doing a super crappy job either, so, you know. So this is going to go on here. Okie doke. Arlene Tizio. Arlene makes a good card, but I'm not using her this time. <laughs> Arlene also makes Mr. Mike's clothes. Mary Ellen Finley. No. Oh boy, last week. Last week it was, I copied Susie Fix card and she was here. She was the first one to guess and she didn't guess herself. <laughs> but I almost panicked because she was the first one to guess. And I thought, oh my gosh, she's on the case. She saw her, she's guessing. <laughs> she's gonna get it real fast. But she didn't. This is a piece of tissue paper that came in my new wood map that's six feet wide. It's a world map and it goes on my wall. It's six feet wide and it's just a piece of tissue paper. And I thought it would be perfect for this. Yeah, I, I have an extra color, but I'm not gonna submit it. So it's okay if I have an extra color. You know, when I'm adding something this diagonal, which is not all that often. Oh, Rosie, you're welcome to guess. You just kind of eyeball where the points are with everything. Like this point is just barely off the edge. This point can be barely off the edge. This is, has about, about a fourth of an inch. That one has a little less. It's okay. Roberta! Roberta Comer, or Roberta Sadler got it. It is Chelsea Comer. <laughs> Congratulations. It is Chelsea Comer. Well done, Mrs. Birthday Bob. 
What gave it away? This? The diagonal? I tried to be sneaky. I knew it would come really fast. <laughs> now Amy Morris got it. <laughs> it is. Yep, Roberta got it first. But yep, this is this is a card inspired by Chelsea Comer, who also has a show on Tuesday nights. <laughs> the layers. Okay. Then this is a piece of cardstock I don't think I'll ever use too much, so I thought it would make a great mat with a little faux faux foiling. I'm not gonna that way I don't have to work too hard. And here we go. Let's get this thing. I'm let's get this thing all put together now. I thought it was such a cute card. She had a flamingo, but it uh didn't have jeans. <laughs> so but it's a cute flamingo. And so she has a card and it's got a I think it had a blue base. And then it had diagonal a diagonal that no, it didn't have a blue base. Did it have a blue base? But it had a diagonal um pattern in the in the mat. And so I thought, well, that that'll be an easy way to have a diagonal, which is that tissue paper that it and it says enjoy the wood, which doesn't make any sense, but that's okay. And I tied that too low. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't you bend all the way up. There we go. And we'll put you up there a little more. And this was the original card that I made to um, copy her. I'll put that off to the side. Go out just a little bit. And then I got so carried away, I made another one using my die from Penguin Palace. And I thought those all those just all turned out pretty kind of cute. Pretty darn cute. So she had for a friend. It was a flamingo that said your. Oh, it had a pun, and um, she had stacks of flip flops going up the side. And uh, this piece was torn. This actually was torn, so I went ahead and just tore a piece off, and to add to it. So it's not quite like hers, but it's not far off. I have to have to change it a little bit so that you guys don't get it right away. <laughs> and then this little guy says, be hoppy right here. <laughs> You're flamazing. That's it. <laughs> yeah, and that was the stamp that I used Friday night. And there's my original card if you haven't seen the show. So that's the card I used, except I think I used pen on this. So you can see the difference. This feels smoother. But I did use pencil on, did I use pencil on it? No, I lie. Uh, use pencil on these, and so there's a little more texture, and I did use a blending brush to, or a bit blending pen to smooth them out, but because it's a uh, pencil, it still has a little texture. This is smoother because it was alcohol markers. So that was that. Yep, yep, I may end up getting these guys a little smoother too. And then I just punched out a bunch of little teeny tiny hearts. These were actually a, this is a, from a die that is supposed to be for making confetti for um, shaker cards. But I thought, well, we'll just see what we've got. See if we can get these to be little stacked up hearts. And so I'll just stack a bunch going up the side. Oh, there's a whole bunch down here. Okay. <laughs> just pick them all up at once and throw them. Artistic liberty. Yeah, yeah. Cool. That's those are my cards for the night, actually. So I, you know, I'm good. I'll just glue all that stuff down, fix him up a little bit. And uh, I do love, I'm, I do enjoy this uh, little Penguin Palace cake thing. And then I did stamp, I, so to get these extra frostings, I did, because I had these orange hearts on here, but they were just standing out like a sore thumb. So I used orange marker 
and did a bunch of scribbling so that and then cut it again like the blue frosting is and then just hand cut a smaller piece to go on top of it and I think it turned out fine these guys could be a little brighter I forgot I was gonna do that but forgot but um, it's a cute little pattern. I think it's a great go-to pattern. I wouldn't. I hope to remember it because I think they are really good. I think it's very playful with the diagonal line, and it's very. It's got a lot going on, but I don't think it's bad. I like it. I like it, and I hope you like it too. So that's it. That's it. You got it. <laughs> I can't believe it, Roberta. You're smart. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gone. Anyway, we'll just say goodnight. Because I don't know if it's gone. There, it's the one I wanted. Am I still on? Who knows? Who knows? They left me with the buttons. Do want to thank our patron. Disconnected me. Oh. Well, they're probably not here. So I'm now? I am. Buttons. They're my best friend. Uh, so I was just saying, I was out at the post office, I hit the wrong button. I was out at the post office and, um, thank you patrons for helping me pay for those packages. It was great. Uh, it, and just FYI to everybody that has to send things internationally, Mar March 1st, you have to itemize everything on your customs list before you send it. So it, be careful when you're sending something because I put something random on there and they said no 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 can't do that so that's that's your uh, lesson for the day oh enjoy make it enjoy the gallery it is so full of great stuff you guys did a beautiful beautiful job of hitting those four parameters thank you again for helping and welcoming all the new people in our facebook group if you are new to craft roulettes in review and watching the video or whatever Please visit our website. There's so much information there about what somebody was in. What are you guys doing here? And I was going, it's really hard. It's a really hard answer, question to answer. So, um, but go to the website. It really is very helpful. It's craftroulette.live. So we will see you Thursday. Yes, set your, you can hit that notification bell and you can set your alarm too. Regular times, slideshow starts at 610. See if we can get a hundred. Steven's got the math for how many, how many cards he can put on that slideshow. Um, so slideshow starts at six ten to see all of your beautiful cards. Patrons have until Wednesday at midnight to send in to upload their card. Um, and then the show starts at six thirty. I kind of jumped around there. So as as usual, but it's on Thursday. So don't forget, we want to see your pretty faces in the in the chatterbox it will mean a lot to me to have some familiar friends going hi mary well i'm not telling you how many i'm not i'm not telling you how many so anyway that's it we'll see you next tuesday to see to make a new card based on what we get friday see some of your cards and see what i got in the mail all right kisses time hmm you guys are you guys are medicine to me you are We'll see you soon. Take care. Let's see if I hit the right button. Bye-bye.